Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this video, we'll discuss one more problem on backtracking. Okay, so the problem statement is, you'll be given an array like this, then what you need to do, you need to find out all the possible subset of this array. Okay, so here I've created this subset. The first one is 1, then we have 1, 2, then 1, 2, 3, then 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, and at last we have 3. Okay, so these are the possible subset of this array, right? And here I have created this function and this function has four parameters. The first one is vector, which is this one. The actual array is represented as V, right? Then we have a 2D vector, which is used to store this, the whole output, right? We'll be storing the whole output in a 2D vector. Let me create it here. All right. This is the second parameter. Then we have another vector which is the subset vector see here we have first row then second row third row so we'll store we'll be storing each of these rows in this vector okay so this is for that and the last one is index we'll be using index value in this for loop this one and the initial value of index is zero because we need to traverse this array from starting this is the zeroth index then the first index and here we have second index right so the initial value of index is zero and since we're using recursion so as you all know that in recursion we uh, there is the involvement of stack so here i have created this stack right we'll be using this stack so we just need to call this function from min and we need to pass all these four parameters there and let me track the value of index okay in this stack so this is zero because the initial value of index is zero okay now we are in this for loop because v dot size is three here we have three elements so v dot size is three right and index value is zero means we can traverse this for loop the first step is to push v of i means v of zero inside the subset vector so this is the subset vector okay we'll push v of zero which is one we'll push one inside this vector and then in the second step we are pushing this vector means this vector the subset vector in the resultant vector okay so this is res the 2d vector we'll be pushing this vector into this 2d vector right we'll push one inside this vector now this is completed now we just need to call the same function again and here we are using recursion okay so the value of i will become 1 because 0 plus 1 is 1 and the first step is to push v of 1 okay v of 1 v of 1 is 2 we'll push 2 the second step is to push this vector into this 2d vector so we'll push 1 2 here okay and the third step is to call the recursive function and the value of i will become 2 because we are incrementing the value of i by 1 right Again, we are back to this for loop and the first step here is to push v of i which is actually v of 2 okay v of 2 because the value of i is 2 we'll push v of 2 which is 3 inside this vector okay and again the second step is to push this vector into the original 2d vector right so we'll push 1 2 3 here okay and the third step is to call this recursive function so the value of i will become 3 let me write it here the value of i is 3 and the value of v dot size is also 3 means see the value of index is 3 which is the value of i right and the value of v dot size is 3 means 3 this is the condition here this is the condition which is not true so we'll not run this for loop right we'll not run this for loop and since we're not running this for loop will move to the previous call stack and let me remove this from here okay now we are back to this function call stack right and for this function call stack all the three steps are done so we need to execute the fourth one and in the fourth step we are just popping out the last element from the vector okay and here the last element is three so we'll pop three from here right okay so and the value of i is 
2, right? So i plus plus will become 3 and this condition will not satisfy because 3 is not smaller than 3. So we will not run this for loop and we will back to again this function called stack, right? And let me remove this from here. Okay, so we are now at this function called stack and here all the three steps are done. So we need to execute the last step. Okay. And in this step, we are just popping out the last element from the vector. So let me pop two from here. Again, we are back to this for loop and i plus plus is there. So the value of i will become two and two is smaller than three means this condition is satisfied, right? So we'll push v of two, which is three v of 2 is this element will push 3 inside this vector okay again we just need to push this vector into this 2d matrix so we'll push 1 3 here again we need to call this recursive function okay so you got the idea right this is how recursion and backtracking works and in this way we can print this original output okay so let me show you the code for it here is the code uh, this is the main function and here we are using 1 to 3 as a vector okay this is the resultant vector which is actually the 2d vector in which we are storing this result right and this is the subset util function in which we are creating these vectors and here we have called the main function which is similar to this one right and after that we just need to print the output the output of this 2d matrix so let me run this this is the output now let me change the array to this so now we have four elements in this array okay let's compile this first so it is compiled successfully now if i run this Okay, this is the output 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, like this. Okay, this is the subset of this array. So, this is how you can print subset of any array, subset elements of any array. Okay, and here is the code for it.